the organs sometimes feel like little stress balls. So I just play with them and it like releases my stress. On Murdoch Mysteries, your characters are brilliant at figuring out what ailment someone has, even what killed them. On Frankie Drake Mysteries, I go to Google Medical to figure out what organoscopy means. True story. So, <laughs> who am I talking about when I describe these people? By the time they died in 1874, they not only coined the common term for their condition, they were also known for it around the world. Ooh, okay, let's let that simmer for a bit. You play a doctor and you a coroner's assistant on television, but how squeamish are both of you around blood and gore in real life? She's fine with it. Oh, yep. really? Yep. <laughs> no problem. Really? I'm squeamish, doesn't matter how often I do it, when I arrive on set, I'm like, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And faint. Yes. I know it's fake, but it doesn't matter. It's just, it's she's actually just like, really whatever. funny. What about the microwave thing that happened at the beginning of the season? <laughs> Everyone who watched the first episode of the season has a very bloody, gory microwave scene. It was horrifying. It was horrifying. And also, we had to time it so well. We all kind of head toward this door. We open it. And then right at that moment, all this all gore starts <laughs> hanging off. I remember we were all watching it together. I was like, oh. Well, the good thing was we were allowed to have our normal reaction. But, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, my normal reaction would be like, ah! <laughs> and that's not really Ogden's reaction. She's more like, oh, this is unfortunate. I'm going to have to clean that later. So what's the worst injury you've ever had? I've actually never had any crazy injuries. I've never broken anything. Never? never? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. You're a superhero. Right? We're just figuring it out. Yeah. I hadn't until really recently, too. Really? I, I broke my wrist riding my bicycle. Mm -hmm. uh, not my fault. Somebody else's. Fair. Were you shooting the show at the time? Yes, yes. We were right in the middle of shooting. And so the first phone call was to our, you know, one of the producers. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I said, ha ha, with this big picture of this cast that they'd thrown on very quickly. Yeah. We happened to be doing an episode where I, f I faint anyway. So mm -hmm. we just wrote in that I broke my wrist. And then we had this really vintage looking cast on for the next nice. um, four episodes. How do you work on the terminology? I know how I do. It's just over and over and over and over again. What about you? thinking about yeah. it. I know, so, right? Yeah. Well, it's um, not easy. No, I know. And for anyone who comes in new, yeah. I see yeah. them going through what I did on year one. It's just, it's brutal. Yeah. When you got this gig, were you like super, like, I got this awesome gig. And then you got your first script and you were like this. <laughs> <laughs> No, actually, I was like, this is exciting. And, and the, the organs sometimes feel like little stress balls. So I just play with them and it like releases my stress, trying to say the right terms. So, yeah. so at the turn of the century, medicine wasn't obviously quite what it is today. There are some very strange medical procedures. And I'm gonna play a game with you to test your real medical knowledge. Oh, no. So I'm gonna read two cures from the past and you will endeavor to tell me which one is real. Number one, don't let a pesky cough do you in, control it with a dose of heroin. Or two, to keep that tuberculosis away, try drinking five cups of milk a day. Which one's oh. the real? So the second one's, <laughs> the second one's grossing me out. Mm -hmm. The first one doesn't sound like a bad, bad idea. I'm sure there's some people who still are doing that. I would say the first one's real. That seems really far-fetched. Is that your answer, I'll as they say the on all the shows? Just, just, Are you going to go over the second, go the second one? one? All right, we'll see who wins. It's not a competition, right, right? It's not a competition, but as I found, which I love about Helene, absolutely competitive. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay, so number one is correct. Yes. Oh number gosh. one is correct. Wow, heroin was used to treat coughs and colds, even in children. We were doing a lot of weird heroin injections. I wasn't Please. doing them. <laughs> <laughs> as therapy, in the beginning, we referred to that quite a bit, as well as mercury, okay. injecting yeah, yeah. mercury and weird things like that. That's the only reason I know about yes. that. Number two, for a rash on skin, rub onion over the affected area. Or two, to treat lice, douse your head with pure gasoline. <laughs> Number two is correct. <laughs> I know this. You know that. I do. The answer is two. At the turn of the century, people were dousing their hair with gasoline or kerosene to get rid of lice. I feel like that would work, right? So it was like, great, I'm just going to light a little smoke beside <laughs> your head. I hope that's okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, back to our mystery hook. By the time they died, they, by the time they died in 1874, they not only coined the common term for their condition, but they were known around the world. Who were they? I'm gonna have to take a pass or, you know. Uh... Definitely a pass. <laughs> Brothers Chang and Ang Bunker were born in 1811 in Thailand and they were fused together at the chest. They toured the world with several circuses as the Siamese twins and became world famous. 
During the 19th century, it was considered too dangerous to perform surgery to separate them. Mm -hmm. Now, although considered still risky, doctors have had some successes. So they were the first Siamese twins. Wow, the first time that it's the first time, and, or and they they grew very old. So <laughs> it's safe to say we've come a long way since the 1800s in medicine, but we have to start somewhere to get where we are. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>